CATV is proudly presented by Toyota. Are you surprised that we decided to send you a uh, We were actually. Um, we thought it, it was going to be quite tough this morning, but um, if we got through that initial stage, it, it looked like it was going to be quite a nice wicket, and it actually was. It, it played really well throughout the day, it had a good pace and bounce, and there's actually a few cracks forming as well. So um, hopefully, uh, with the heat overhead, we can get a big first innings total and um, let the uh, let the cracks uh, play, play come come into the game later in the game. Um, you sort of gone from being slightly unorthodox players, being very orthodox, and probably arguably one of the most improved players in your career in the last year. What have you done that's sort of this connection? Uh, I think a whole lot of things. Um, tightening up my technique for start. Um, being patient, they're probably the two major factors. Um, I think just knowing where my off stump is and being able to leave a lot of balls and, and wait till the, till the bowlers get into my areas where I want, where I want to score. And um, I think that's probably been the key to my success over the last little bit. And hopefully it carries on tomorrow and then into the future as well. Steve, at 98-4, the process would have felt the tails were really up. Could you be in a better position at stumps today based on the innings that you and Sean played? Yeah, Sean was amazing all day. He um, he did, as I said about myself before, he sort of just let the ball come into his areas. He left really well, and when the ball got into his areas, um, he really capitalised on that. And to be at um, four for 295 at the end of a day's play when you got sent in, I think it's um, we're in a very good position. But uh, we have to start well in the morning and hopefully build as many runs as we can and, and put, put South Africa under some pressure. Yeah. Uh, what was going on with Sean in the afternoon session? Struggling to, to take two. Yeah, uh, I'm not too sure to be honest. He's, I think he was just cooked. It was um, it was quite hot out there today, um, and he, you know, he, he was his concentration was, was very good throughout the day. Um, I'm not sure if anything's actually wrong with him, but um, yeah, he, he seemed fine to me. Yeah. Um, I was just going to ask you about Sean's just the week he's had. You know, the fact that yeah, he probably is. It, it took me a good week to get over it, and he's only been here for three days. So um, he's certainly probably copping a little bit. And um, you know, just the way he played today was was sensational. He he, he waited beautifully, and, and when they got into his areas, he, he really capitalised on it, and you know, he showed great maturity. Um, well, just to follow up on that, he, he, um, uh, his best has always been very good, but he doesn't have always been able to to reach that that level. Um, I think so, yeah. I think he's he's been a quality player for a long time and he hasn't played test cricket for a while and, you know, it just shows the way he's, he's gone and worked on his game and the way he's come back against arguably the best bowling attack in the world. Um, and the way he played today was just terrific and um, I'm really happy for him. Uh, you just mentioned the best bowling attack in the world and you were very assertive against guys like Stay and, and Flander. Was that, again, just a mental thing to just play them as ordinary uh, I think so. I think they're, they're quality campaigners and, um, you know, they're, they're going to be uh, at you all the time. Um, you just have to be patient and, and wait till they get into areas where, you know, you can score and um, just keep waiting for it. And, you know, you've got to just keep, keep waiting because they, they, they do get impatient at times and you just got to keep waiting and capitalise when they do get there. Uh, I've actually never faced him in a test match, so I wouldn't really know what to expect. Um, but he's, yeah, he, I thought he bowled quite well today. Um, he's obviously a quality bowler and someone we, we have to look to, um, I guess, not, not lose wickets against and, and try and capitalise on all the other bowlers. Yes. Um, Stephen, would it be fair to say that um, you guys stepped up again midway through that second session? I think. Yeah, you'd obviously been under pressure in four wickets down, but then that last hour, I think you guys saw 60 odd runs and 40 overs. What was it? Could, could you feel yourselves shifting gear there? Was it very close to uh, not really. It wasn't really planned that way. I think it was just maybe they served up a few balls that were in our areas and um, capitalised on those. Um, other than that, I don't think we changed too much throughout our innings and just tried to be patient and, and wait, for, as I've said, for, for the ball to get in our areas. The way uh, Dale Stein bowled today, did you find him far less fearsome than what you would have imagined he would have been? 
Uh, no, I don't think so. Uh, I think he was quite tired towards the end of the day, and when that second new ball came, he, he probably bowled a little bit wide to me. Uh, didn't have to play at many balls, so... Um, yeah, look, he's obviously gonna, they're obviously going to come quite hard in the morning. Um, hopefully we can get through that initial stage and try and get that ball a little bit softer and then capitalise then. What kind of total would you have in mind for a good first innings? Oh, I'm not too sure, to be honest. As many as we can. Um, hopefully just keep batting and hopefully we, uh, me and Sean can form another partnership tomorrow and then keep building to as big a score as we can get. Do you know the rationale behind the batting ball you know what the thinking behind it was? With what? The batting order shuffle. With our shuffle? Yeah. Uh, I'm not too sure. I, th I think the, the two guys that have come in are top order players, so they're pretty, you know, they sort of just stepped into three and four, and me and Pup have just dropped down one. I, I don't think there's too much to it besides that. Uh, Steve, so close to 10, uh, how, do you see, how will you sleep tonight? I'm pretty tired actually, so I think I'll sleep alright. It was quite hot out there, so. Um, yeah, look, hopefully don't think too much about it overnight and come out fresh in the morning and hopefully can put on a few runs. Last question, Rob. You come out of course not many in the captain's just way out. How do you keep calm in those situations? Like, what was the discussions early on with Sean? Uh, just be sharp. Um, I think it's... It's got good pace and bounce in the wicket, so it's, um, if you get through the initial stages, it's, it's quite good to bat. So um, it's just about get, getting yourself in and then trying to capitalise once you've done that.